Howdy folks, Tony Ferry here with White Hat Holsters. Today we're going to be answering some of your frequently asked questions and one of the questions we get on a pretty regular basis is for small of the back carry with our Max Tuck or Micro Tuck holsters. So the question typically goes like this. If I'm right handed and I'm carrying the small of the back, don't I need a left handed holster? And that's an immediately a clue to me that um, these people are trying to do what we call a reverse configuration where basically you're trying to draw with your palm facing away from your body instead of towards your body like you normally would if you're carrying on the waistband uh, or you know on the hip or something so it seems logical um, in your mind because you see it in the movies a lot of times where if you're gonna carry in the small of the back you'd reach your hand around like this and grab your gun this way Okay, and that is easier if you're standing straight like this, you can kind of put your hand back here and get your gun out. There are some practical problems with this that are um, ineffective, uh, will slow you down considerably, and are downright dangerous. I'm gonna adjust the camera angle to show, show you uh, uh, the small of the back there so you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about, and then we'll come back and I'll demonstrate it on the holster here. All right, so here you can see uh, the waistline, and I've got my Max Tuck holster on as well. But I've got the gun in the small of my back in what I call the reverse configuration. So this is where you would reach your hand around like this and, and put your hand here and draw the gun this way. Um, th this is what we're talking about with reverse configuration. So this would normally be like a left-handed holster uh, configuration, but this is, this is what people think they want to do is draw it this way. What I suggest you do is adjust the carry angle of, of the uh, holster, which you can do with our holsters, and instead of reaching your hand this way, if you just, if you just rotate your shoulder slightly, you can get, your, get a good grip on the gun and draw it this way. All right, so let me go back to the full angle. I'll sort of demonstrate this on the holster so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. So this is what we're talking about. In a reverse configuration, this is a standard configuration. And the reason we build the holsters this way is so you can get a full grip on the gun this way. Get your index, your trigger finger along the side of your, uh, your pants outside your waistband. And when you draw the gun, you've got a full firing grip. You're ready to get on target. You're ready to engage the target if necessary and reholster very easily without adjusting your grip too much. That's really the idea. You don't want to have to draw and then adjust your grip uh, extensively once you have the gun out that just slows you down considerably. So what people think they want to do is take this holster, flip it around this way, okay? Now imagine that this is up against up against my body, okay? And I'm going to I'm going to draw it with my left hand. Okay? Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but immediately the problem is if this is just flat up against my body like this, it's very difficult to even get my hand behind the gun grip, let alone uh, index my trigger finger along the back of the holster. You're not going to get all of this, you know, your full fist and uh, finger in between the holster and your body. You're, you're not going to be able to do that. It's just not going to work. Um, so really your only alternative at that point is just to get a grip on what you can because you're really not even going to grab it like this. You know, you have too much of your hand in there. So you can just get sort of your fingers on it and draw it out. Now, now this is the grip that you have when you pull the gun that way. Now you have to adjust your grip and index your finger and uh, it's just very impractical. The other impractic impractical problem with that is uh, when, when you draw it from the small of the back with your palm facing away from you, I don't know if you can see this, but if I draw it this way, it's, it forces me to sweep my body with the muzzle of the gun. Okay, unless you do like this and, and very uh, conscientiously move the gun away from you as you're bringing it up, uh, but that's a lot of fine motor movement that you don't want to have to worry about doing in the heat of the moment. Um, so when you draw this way, you're going to try and present it as quick as you can. So as soon as you start bringing it up, you can see the gun is pointing right at my side pretty much the whole time until I get it up to here. If I turn my hand around, when I draw, the gun naturally drifts away from my body. Okay. So all you really have to do to effectively draw small of the back, if you're right-handed, get a right-handed holster. All you really have to do is rotate your shoulders a little bit and, and put your hand right in the small, the small of your back. Stand up and try it right now, wherever you're sitting. Uh, if, you, if you do like this, it, it is uncomfortable and difficult to get your hand into the small of your back with your palm facing your body. But if you rotate just a little bit, just right at the waist, just rotate your body, you can get a good grip on the gun that way, bring it up and, and, uh, and present it as necessary. 
So we don't recommend the, converse, uh, the reverse carry for small to the back, unless you're a person that has extensively trained that way uh, for years and years and know exactly what you're doing and are aware of, of how to do that, then maybe we can do that. But even then, if you needed a reverse configuration, we would need to start with probably a zero cant straight up and down or even an, a little bit of a negative cant so you can get the angle that you need to do that. But our overall recommendation is don't do it. There's too many risks. There's, there's too much interference. It's, it's too slow. It's too cumbersome. You can't get a good grip on the gun that way. So we do not recommend that style carry for small of the back. Get a regular holster for the, the hand that you normally use. If you're right-handed, get a right-handed holster and just carry it in the small of your back. Rotate your shoulders. You can get a good grip, a nice crisp presentation with a good firing grip. And that's all you need to do. I uh, hope that helped answer that question. If there's any additional questions you'd like to see us cover, uh, specific topics about the gun or specific carry positions as well, let us know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, we really appreciate your support. We appreciate you watching this video. Share it with anybody who uh, uh, might be interested in seeing this information as well. Uh, as always, we appreciate you very much. Be safe. God bless. Have a great day.